Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Danganronpa, another episode Ultra Despair Girls. Now I just want to tell you guys that this particular episode is not a blind section and the reason for this is that my capture device actually messed up. I don't know what caused it or what the issue was, I've never had this problem before but I couldn't even play back the video it recorded, it was just having like a green screen and all glitches on the screen and I just couldn't use any of the footage. So luckily at every single save point what I do is after I stop recording I wait for the episode to uh, finish processing then I check the playback of the episode make sure everything's okay then I save my game at a save point then I upload it onto online storage and uh, because I do that each time I'm able to check playback of the episodes I record and if there's any problems or anything like that I can re-download my save and carry on so I'm glad I got into the habit of doing that because this really has saved this section because if I didn't do that I wouldn't have been able to include this particular section of the game which is a shame because something awesome happens in a bit well a really interesting scene anyway as you will see now so, top tip, mm. if you're a YouTuber, make sure you back up your saves regularly. <laughs> okay, so up we go. Oh, wait, uh, I totally forgot something. What? The chairman's head, we left it. Now he's gonna curse me again. <sighs> I'm leaving. You better not curse us, that's all I'm saying. Ooh, shiny. Okay, that's around the other side, so we'll have to remember that. It's that arcade Aid machine again. Saver, then. In fact, I know we've got a saver. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> this bit isn't blind, Kylie, remember. Stop! Don't come near me! Girl, what is she doing? Certainly totally not in a sexual way, though, Kotoko. That would be no weird. I can do that. You're too trusting. She's that perverted girl who took away your virginity. <laughs> no, she didn't. No, she didn't. A Monokuma kid is somewhere in this room, controlling them. Find that kid, bring it, kill him. You heard her. I'm not going to kill them. When the beast Monokumas are focused on her, that's your chance. Yeah, but it's hard to see. Hmm. No! I'm gonna be humiliated by a beast, but I'm still a kid! Thing. Ah, we got oh, caught! Never mind. For 
being so unfortunate, you sure seem nonchalant about it. Well, this is an act, too. If I stop acting, it would be bad. I would lose my cool like some miserable wretch. To put this much effort into betraying me, I'm boiling with anger. You're talking about Monica, right? Yes, she said it herself. She doesn't care about Paradise and never has. She was tricking us with all her talk about succeeding the will of Big Sis Junko. She even took so advantage of the hope all. Big Sis Junko gave us. And she made everyone in the Warriors of Hope fight. No, more than that. Remember after I lost to you two, I got ambushed by Monokuma kids? I think that was her doing. Masaru and Jotaro probably ended up the same way. Makes sense. Got them out she of the way. She didn't just betray the Warriors of Hope. She wanted to kill us. She didn't believe in friendship, or effort, or victory. The children's paradise we dreamed of, it was never gonna happen, from the very beginning. If I'm gonna have anyone on my side, I would prefer it to be Kotoko. She's like my favorite out of the Warriors of Hope. If that's true, then what is she really after? I'm not sure, but she said something about the successor to Junko Enoshima or something. A successor? She's twisting this whole situation to make a kingdom for herself, not a paradise for all. And as queen of her little kingdom, she probably wants to be the pampered successor. She's seriously the worst! She should just choke on a bowl of poo and die! That's hey, Toko, harsh. what do you think? And disgusting. Well, <laughs> first off, I still don't think we can trust her. Well, we can't completely trust her, but I do think in this situation, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, and if she knows she's been betrayed, which obviously she has, why would she lie unless she has an agenda? And I'm, if she's gonna help us a little bit, we shall see what she has to say Saying first. Saying things like, I was betrayed? She probably just wants us to let our guard down. Never! Look! I'm completely unarmed! See? Yeah, we didn't need to see that, Coach Hey, Joe. stop! If you still don't trust me, I'll let you in on a little secret. The whereabouts of that big fat liar, Monica. Okay, so here's the carrot being dangled now. But what does she want in she return? She should be inside the Excalibur, anchored at the rooftop helicopter port. The Excalibur? It's that big airship thingy you so courageously jumped out of. It's on top of Toa Hills. If you know where she is, why don't you go find her yourself? Well, I was planning to do just that, but that's when I got jumped by these Monokumas! Well, even if Monica's betrayed her, she totally loves Monica, doesn't she? She's like obsessed with making her happy, so even though Monica's betrayed her, I don't know if she quite has the heart to even attack Monica. The device that controls the Monokumas, is that in this Excalibur thing too? I mean, this could all just be an elaborate setup, though. I'm guessing that liar poophead Monica is holding on to it. She's controlling the Monokumas. Jeez, her stupid magic. Getting all carried away with that controller. You should snatch it from her. Then you can give it to me for some Ah, there we go. That's what she wants. See, I don't know. I don't know if I trust her, really, guys. Um... I do think she's telling the truth about Monica's location and obviously she wants the controller for herself so if we don't give her the controller and we just go ahead and go to where she tells us where Monica is, it should be alright, fingers crossed. <laughs> Safekeeping? You're just I as want bad to believe as she's kind of on our side though because I really like Kotoko. And more importantly, where's the hostage from Future Foundation? This is crucial. You mean that blonde guy who looks like he has really pretty nipples? <laughs> yeah, that's him. No doubt about it. Master has to have beautiful how can nipples. You, how can you, like, see someone's face and go, yep, they've got pretty nipples? <laughs> the master you're talking about is in the storage room on the top floor of Toa Hills. But the key to that room is in that liar poophead bitch Monica's pocket. All I gotta do is strip that brat down 
can snag that key. So basically, everything we need is on Monica yeah. at the moment. And after she's stripped down, bury her legs and let starving dogs come eat her. You don't have to go that far. All we have to do is make her give us the key. Oh, you're so kind, miss. But remember, the device that controls the Monokumas, just leave it to me. You can trust me with it. After all, I don't hate adults anymore. <laughs> They're not demons to me, not one bit. I don't believe you. Now then, good day. I don't think after everything she's been through, the simple betrayal from Monica is just going to make her not hate adults anymore. I mean, it does mean this whole good paradise day. thing has been a lie, and the going? group of the Warriors of Hope has been a lie, and all that, but still, it doesn't change how she was treated in the past. She doesn't hate the adults anymore, huh? So basically, Don't make me laugh. you aren't that good at acting. I trust her to a certain extent. I trust that she has told us the correct location of Monica because it benefits herself. She wants the controller, um, so I do think she's telling the truth there. But I don't think she has stopped hating adults, and I don't think she's completely on our Maybe side either. Maybe we shouldn't have saved someone like her. Right now, we know where we need to go, so let's get to the roof already. Before there are more victims, we have to stop the kids and adults from fighting! Kamaru, your eyes are scary. She's burning with hope! Huh? I told you before, Master comes first. But if we can save the city while we're at it... But... but... got it? Got it. Give me all the coins. Ah. Thanks. Most of them disappeared. said to be the mirror of your mental spirit. If the room is messy, your mental hygiene is not very good either. But if you are always busy in your everyday life and have no time to spend for cleaning, this book is the perfect cleaning book for you. With the godly skill of cleaning that only lasts five minutes per day, your room can once again be your sanctuary. Wow, well, that's a bit random to come out with. Is it because the book was talking about cleaning and we know she's got poor hygiene? That's good advice. It's in a woman's nature to be satisfied and always uh, to never be satisfied and always want more. Where have you got this from? <laughs> Men can be greedy as well, just as much as women. Amazing! Don't last long, which just sounds totally weird. <laughs> Take me quick. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> she just made it up. Don't mess with me.
right, that's everything, isn't it? So let's just go upstairs. We'll probably save it, shouldn't we? Much longer until we get to the roof. We've climbed pretty high. Can't be too far away. Well, we've missed something here. so far in this chapter then um there we go nice well that's a pretty creepy door what should we do open it of course what should we do are you actually planning to open this obviously creepy looking door? Hells yeah. There's stuff in I there, mean, come on. There might be something important or useful in here. Uh, I'm not gonna help you out if a head starts rolling on the floor like last time. Don't say that! It's scary! Susie Torture Chamber. That's why I warned you. Yeah, jeez. Let's get outside. Wait, this is. Komaru Mokumo, I think. I can't quite make that out. What is this? written in blood. They're letters, right? Hey, Togo, can you take a look at the- Oh, honey looks angry. <coughs> Hi, G, don't sneak up girls within a psychotic torture chamber. That's not a good move, dude. D don't scare me like that. If you were gonna tag along with us, make your presence known. Jeez. So, it was here. Um, Mr. Haichi? You have no idea what this room is, huh? Well, I'll tell you. This is a torture room. Those kids were torturing our loved ones in here. Torture? You guys saw that broadcast too, right? Someone help! That's my wife! To try and flush us out from the base, those brats made us watch our loved ones get chopped up. It actually had the opposite effect, though. We were all too afraid to come out. Yeah, but I don't understand why they just allowed that to stay there, that big TV screen. Why didn't they smash it off or, like, move it out of the base? I don't understand why they just, yeah, we were forced to watch it. Nobody was forced to watch it. You just chose not to move it or do anything about it. What? what? Could have Such destroyed a TV. Idea. Someone with experience must have planned it. You understand now, right? This room, it represents all the despair we were forced to feel. All the adults back at the secret base, their loved ones were killed right here. All of them? 
It's not an exaggeration. Every single one of us had loved ones killed in this room. Then... those kids somehow discovered all your identities and found your relatives? Y yeah so Well, doesn't that sound strange to you? Do you really think those brats are capable of that? No, no they're not. It does seem very strange, Shoko. I well, agree. Capable or not, that's what happened. And that's why we can't show any mercy. Not anymore. I'll never forgive those bastards. Never. This must be where they put the bodies. They threw them away like broken toys. You want to see it? When you do, I'm sure you'll no longer want to take their side. We're not taking their side. It just... It seems like something's off to me. Yeah, definitely. You go on ahead. I want to stay here a little longer. I have to. I have to tell the others about this place. I want to be able to describe it. Well, basically, I think it's Shirakuma. I think Shirakuma obviously took some kind of information down about each person within the Resistance and fed the information back to Monica or someone, uh, you know, over here or a kid or something like that. And that's how they were able to kill relatives and get the correct people and make sure it had some impact. So I do still think Shirakuma is partly evil. I've never trusted Shirakuma from the start. Mr. Haiji, I understand how you feel, but those kids didn't do it of their own free will. Yeah, the brainwashing. Let's just go. <laughs> but... It's a really horrible situation. I mean, imagine, put yourself in the kid's shoes. Imagine oh, if you shouldn't just- Shouldn't we explain the brainwashing to Haichi? Imagine if you just woke up one day and then you were surrounded by policemen or whatever and they were just like, yeah, you've killed, I don't know, 12, 12 adults in brutal, horrific ways, but you were under mind control. I mean, you know, that would be horrible. And to be honest, it isn't the kid's fault if they are being mind controlled. It's one of those sticky things where, you know, it's really hard to forgive them because they've still committed the act, but they weren't in control of their actions. So I don't think they're responsible in a way. He won't even listen to us. It would probably make him even more upset. But I just think it's going to be really difficult for the adults to get over the fact that the kids were mind controlled and just forgive them. But I wanted to ask him about his little sister, too. You heard about that from your hallucinations, right? You shouldn't take that as fact. And not just that, but a lot of things seem off. Off? The victims are all relatives of the people at the secret base? Doesn't that seem strange? Yep, no as I said, someone's been feeding information be, back. How could they possibly learn who they all were? Shirakuma. Jeez, things are starting to get fishy. But we've come this far. No way we can head back now. I'm sure it'll be all right. You and me, we can do this. You're right. No choice. We have to press forward. I wonder if Haichi's okay. Stop worrying about other people. Right now, you should be worrying about yourself.
Which way are we going? Okay guys, so after this part it's no longer, uh, it will be once again a blind let's play, um, so yeah, the next section will be totally new to me. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here guys, don't forget to like, comment, favourite and share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, thank you for watching and take it easy guys.